Hey everyone, Mike here. Today's gonna be a pretty quick video. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up both DHCP Relay and a DHCP server in NSXT. So let's get started. First, we're gonna look at the topology we have. I'm gonna zoom in a little here, so hopefully you can see this. There we go. So in my lab, I have this T0 gateway I set up and I have these external interfaces and this is all facing my physical lab. I'm running BGP between the tier zero and the physical lab and coming off of that tier zero, I have two different T1 gateways. I have this T1 over here and I have a nerdy dash T1 here. This is the one I want you to focus on. We're gonna be working with this today. We're gonna to be setting up some new segments. We're gonna set up DHCP relay first and then I'll show you how to do the DHCP server option after that. So the first thing we're gonna to do to set up relay on this one, we need to obviously we need some segments but the first thing I'm gonna do is actually configure the relay itself and then we'll create that segment. So we're gonna go over to DHCP under IP management from there, we're just gonna select add DHCP profile. I'm gonna call this one nerdy uh, DHCP relay, something like that. You're gonna make sure you select DHCP relay, not server. And you're just gonna specify that external DHCP server IP. And make sure you hit add item or else it won't take that input. Hit save. And you can see I already had one here. So technically these are the exact same thing, but I wanted to create a new one just to show you how it works. So now we can head over to our tier one gateway that we created. In this case, we're gonna use nerdy T1, as I mentioned, we're gonna hit edit, and we're gonna head over to IP address management where it says no dynamic IP allocation, and we're gonna select that, and we're gonna change that to DHCP relay. Once we select that, this box will open up, we click that, and we now wanna make sure we select the appropriate DHCP profile that we just set up. If you select a DHCP relay here, they will all be of type DHCP relay, so you don't have to worry about picking uh, the right one. You do have to worry about picking the right one from an IP standpoint, but in my lab, as you just saw a minute ago, they're the same server. So I'm gonna go with this one right here, and you'll see it, it populates right there and shows us the IP of the DHCP server. That looks good. I'm gonna hit save. Once we've saved that, we head down and click save on the actual router itself to save the configuration. That should be good. At this point, we just need to go configure a segment and then connect it to this T1. So in my case, I'm gonna head over to segments and we're gonna create an app seg. So for this, I'm gonna call it app-seg and I'm gonna connect it to the nerdy T1 gateway. I'm gonna add it to my overlay transport zone. And by the way, some of these concepts might seem new. I've gone through all of this in my NSXT from scratch series. So if you feel like I'm flying through some of this, it's because I am. Uh, feel free to check out the series and it, it'll all make a lot more sense, hopefully. Uh, so for this, I'm actually gonna flip over to my uh, DHCP server because I don't remember the range that I had allocated for this one. So let's, let's see what that looks like. All right, so here I am at my DHCP server and I've got 10.201 is gonna be my app seg scope. So this is already, just to show you while I'm here, I set up a pool uh, from 100 to 110. So if it works, our IP address should be somewhere in that range. So let's go back to NSXT now and we can configure this 201.1. This is gonna be our default gateway on the T1. Now you don't have to do the DHCP config immediately right now, but I'm gonna do it while we're in here. All you gotta do is hit set DHCP config. Make sure you change DHCP type to relay. And right here it'll populate again with whatever profile we wanna use. In this case, you saw it by default, it used this other one. And I want it to use nerdy DHCP relay. So I'm gonna select that. All of this stuff will be grayed out or, or have the X, you can't do any of the config here. This would be if we were running a DHCP server locally on NSXT. Uh, in my case, I'm just forwarding requests. So I'm gonna hit apply and that should be good. So now I'm gonna save that. So now we've created the segment, we've created our DHCP profile, we've set the relay up. All I need now is to go into vCenter and just connect a VM to that segment and test it. So let's do that. So we're gonna go into uh, let's see, app 01A, I'm gonna use this one right here. This is my app VM. And we're gonna change the network adapter to the app-seg network that we just created. And once that comes up, we're gonna console into it. All right, so let's check the existing config. Uh, let's see, so we have this 169 address here. So we're, we're not gonna want that, that was static. So we're gonna change it to DHCP. Um, I should be good, however, if I just do IF down ENS 192. All right, so basically this will this will restart the process or more or less not restart the process, but it'll allow me to pull a new IP. All right, so that should be good. So if it works, I should get an IP and there we have it right there. So it says, I, I got a DHCP offer of 10201.0.100, which is the first available IP in that range I set up. 
And you see the the offer is actually from the distributed router from NSXT because it's relaying it on behalf of the server. So this looks good. I'm actually gonna break this into another video to show you guys the DHCP server configuration just so that I don't put too much in one video and make this like a half an hour long video. I don't want anybody falling asleep during this thing. So I'll see you guys in the next video where I'll show you how to set up DHCP server.